Hey guys, welcome back to Motivation and Box Trucking. I'm so excited to share this information with you. However, before we get into it, I need for you to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and most importantly, the share button. And pass this on to anyone you think needs some motivation. All right, let's get right into it. What's moving? California. California is the third largest state in the United States. And with a population of more than 33 million, it is the most populous state. At 163,707 square miles, it encompasses a wide range of terrain. For perspective, when overlaid on the East Coast, it would span from Maine to North Carolina. In my previous video, I covered why so many drivers avoid California like the plague, due to tons of local laws and regulations. Despite the bad reputation, California has great opportunities and is a leader in innovation for the logistics industry. We'll just focus on the positive attributes in this segment. But be sure to check out why truckers can't stand California after you watch this video twice and share it with at least three people. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Trucking is the primary mode of freight transportation in California. It is estimated that more than 5 million tons of freight is moved daily. There is opportunity for every aspect of logistics to thrive in the state. In 2021, California had 15.9 million licensed trucks registered. Some of California's busiest truck routes are I-405, known as the San Diego Freeway, the I-5 that runs from Mexico to Oregon, and the I-15 that runs from San Diego to Canada. There are 11 deep water ocean ports. The ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are two of the country's busiest ports. California offers easily accessible intrastate, interstate, and international transportation. Let's look at the commodities that impact the state. A commodity is a raw material or primary agricultural product that can be bought and sold, such as copper or coffee. It is a useful or valuable thing, such as water or time. The top agricultural commodity are dairy products, contributing $10.7 billion to their economy in 2022. Grapes and miscellaneous crops both brought in $5.7 billion, followed by cattle and calves with $3.7 billion. Next, we have exports, items leaving the state, which can be a commodity, article, or service sold abroad. The top agricultural exports are tree nuts, bringing in $8.1 billion a year. As mentioned before, California has more than 5 million tons of freight moving daily by truck, so that pretty much includes everything under the sun. But here's a list of some of the more popular items flowing throughout the state via truck. First, we have electrical vehicles. While Tesla was a leader in the state, they have moved their headquarters to Texas. So now Rivian and Lucid are the leading electrical vehicle companies in the state at the moment. Rivian is located in Irvine and Lucid is located in Newark. Next, we have unmounted diamonds, followed by shelled almonds, and lastly, computer modems and transmission devices. Silicon Valley is a major player in the logistics industry with the development of new apps, trucking automation, and research into driverless trucks. Let's move on to the Amazon Relay opportunities in the state. There are so many facilities in the state, most of which accommodate box truck loads. The majority of the facilities are located in the Los Angeles region, but there are a couple in the Oakland region and right along the California-Mexico border. In order to view California loads, you must be CARB compliant. To verify your compliance and gain access to the loads, update your carrier account documents. The last tab allows you to select whether or not your company is certified to operate in California. Remember, if you are looking for strategies to increase your profits with Amazon Relay, be sure to join the Patreon. We have moved all of our Amazon Relay videos there and we often upload new information to keep you on top of how to maximize with Amazon Relay. The link is pinned to the top of the comments. Let's take a look at the upcoming trucking events that are scheduled with the California Trucking Association. 
I always recommend joining your state trucking association. That way you're able to gain access to a network and to resources that can help grow your trucking company. But remember, you don't have to be a member to participate in a lot of these events. The pricing will vary based off of membership, but if you're in the area, you can still participate in many of the events. The California Trucking Association has quite a few events planned, both in-person and virtual. So be sure to take advantage of those opportunities. One thing I found interesting in their resources tab, in addition to access to helpful links, such as the CARB website, etc., was the disaster response link to the American Logistics Aid Network interactive disaster map. You can register to receive updated supply chain information, shelter in place orders, and increase size weight limits in our service waivers so that you and your company can stay safe and provide assistance to those in need during a time of crisis. I appreciate you joining me for the latest addition to What's Moving, a state trucking series. Be sure to look out for all 50 states. Until next time, stay safe and stay motivated.